here we are at Beaver Dam again. It's early December 2015. Temperatures in the low 40s this morning, which isn't too bad for December. Two days ago, the temperature was up in the 60s, and I drove across the, uh, the bridge on the northern part of the lake just to take a look at the water levels. And lo and behold, there was about an acre of white bass just breaking the surface. Seagulls diving on the bait. It was insane. It was a little late in the day, so I didn't launch my boat. I'd been somewhere else that day. So here I am back two days later. And I'm going to go up where I saw those birds the other day and start there. I was a little surprised to see that activity that, that far up on the lake. Normally by this time of year, the fish are closer to the dam in some deeper water. So hopefully they haven't moved too far in the past two days and maybe I'll catch me a white bass, maybe a largemouth. I'll settle for anything. As long as it don't rain, it'll be a pretty day. Well, the seagulls are, are pretty much in the same, same place they were two days ago. They're not moving. They're just sitting on the surface. Maybe when I get a little closer, they'll scare them away. But, uh, yeah, I'm surprised they haven't moved just a couple of hundred yards in two days. And I am marking fish on the depth finder. I'm out here in about 12, 13 feet of water. I'm trolling a, a shallow jig, about a 16th ounce, two and a half inch curly tail. And then I've got a road runner on my other rod. It probably runs about uh, six to seven feet deep at this speed. And then I'm trolling a, uh, uh, a bottom bumping uh, diving plug. Actually, it's a spoon plug, metal spoon plug with a, uh, a dropper uh, jig on that. So I'm covering all the depths. Seeing some fish on the screen. Whoa, I got a fish. First fish of the day. Check it out. Doesn't feel like much. We'll see what this is in a minute. First fish of the day was a double white perch. This is insane. I haven't unhooked that double and now I got another one on my rod. I can't work this camera and do this. My third fish is a catfish. Small cat. And I caught uh, I caught those white perch, one on a spoon plug and one on my dropper. I might only be able to work one line. I'm already tangled up my third line. Just getting started. Could be a good day. I've been out in this spot now, out in the middle of the lake, for maybe 20-30 minutes. I've probably caught a dozen or more fish, white perch, one catfish, and a couple of small white bass. No largemouth yet. And this place is just, there's no reason for these fish to be here. It's flat as a pancake out here. Depth probably doesn't change a foot every hundred yards. There's no cover I can find on the bottom, yet there's bait out here. So I guess that explains why the fish are here, but I don't know why the bait is here. Just breaks all the rules that you would read in the book. But I threw a buoy out, and I got another fish right now. Be back. White bass. Caught him on a shallow running jig. 
can't believe it. The star of the show today has actually been that uh, that deep diving spoon plug with a jig attached to it on a dropper line. But it's not a very big one, but they sure pull hard for their size. This is what I came for. If I can get a dozen or so of these, I'll call it a, a good fishing trip. I probably caught two dozen of them uh, small white perch by now. Can't catch anything above uh, uh, less than 10 feet. I'm in 11 and a half right now, and the screen's just lit up with bait. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, we're doing it today. Feels like I got another good fish on here. Probably a white white bass. He's pulling hard. Going around the boat. Sure wish I'd brought my my hat clip for this camera. Oh yeah. Getting closer. Yep, white bass. I can't believe how hard these things fight for their size. I'll try to let you get a look at him. That's what I'm talking about. This is it today. What I've done is throw another buoy out. That's how to bite again. So now I got two buoys out. I'm guessing they're probably 100, 150 yards apart. And I believe the fish are probably concentrated right in between those two buoys. I don't know. I stopped when I first threw this buoy out and made four casts and caught three fish just sitting still. But I like to move around because I think somewhere right in this area is the mother load. And then I'll just sit there and jig up and down. But if I don't catch another fish today, it's been spectacular. For a cool day in December. I'm loving this. Check out the size of that crappie. That's a pretty fish. My first largemouth of the day moved up here in about eight and a half feet of water. Temperature, surface temperature is 54 degrees. And he hit a road runner. I was towing real slow, bumping bottom, and uh, picked it up. I might go over that again. That was kind of fun. It never did get warm today. I think it's cooler now than when I came out this morning. First week in December 2015, came up to Beaver Dam, and it was spectacular. I've only been out here a few hours. I've caught more fish than I can stand. My hands are all bloody. Just hooked up, I don't know how many fish five or six dozen at least. Some pretty nice crappie and some pretty nice white white bass. The white perch were small, but I was catching them two at a time. So, this is probably one of my best trips ever up here. It's hard to believe it's December. Oh well, the birds went away. Maybe the fish moved on downstream. I hadn't caught anything in the past 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to come back next day. I think I can stand the weather. I'll be right back out here. Today, 11 feet, 12 feet deep. And it really didn't seem to matter whether I fished near the surface or near the bottom. I, I caught fish all through the water column. Tried going slow, tried going fast. When I went slow, I caught a couple of bass. And when I went fast, I was catching those white, white bass. So, you ought to come out here and try it. Appreciate you coming with me.